Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So, a special one today, I finally got it out after days. Part 1 of the Every Single Marvel Film tier list. We're just going to focus on non-MCU films today, and part 2 will focus on MCU. All in the same tier list. Remember, this is just my opinion, everyone has their own opinion, so if you disagree with anything, don't be a weirdo and an idiot about it. You know, I like to, I like to wear opinions, so... If any criticisms about this video, please do it nice and politely. But enjoy the video, hope it goes well, I look out for part 2 in a few days. Enjoy. Hello, welcome back to another video, part 1 of the tier list. I know I've said all this in the intro just before this, so we're just going to go straight into it. Make sure to look out for part 2 in the next few days. Right, that's it. So first off, how the duck. The first theatrically released uh, Marvel film. It's really not good. The only good things I can say about this film is that the voice acting of Howard was good and the design of Howard was good. But that's it. That's all I can say positively about this film. This film is not funny. The effects are garbage. The acting's garbage. The action's terrible. This is really not a good way to kick off Marvel films. And we're going to put it straight into the D tier. Next up, Hulk, Ang Lee's Hulk from 2003. I can see what this film was trying to do. It was trying to make a good film about anger and relationships and how anger can affect relationships, but it, it just did not work for me. It was mostly the editing, like they do like these comic book transitions and they were just really distracting. They just did not fit the film. and. I'm glad we don't do that anymore because it's just really weird and it does not fit anything. There's something that go well with comics and some things that go well with films. Obviously that was just something that didn't go with films. So I'm going to put Ang Lee's Hulk in the D tier. Only, but I'm going to put it against over Howard the Duck. Most because it is trying to be a good film whereas Howard the Duck just wasn't. Next up, Punisher. I have seen this film and it is really bad, really, really bad, um, but in a good way. It's a fun film where you can just laugh at it and have no problems. You know, it's a fun way to get away from the problems of the world and just laugh at a film. Uh, we're going to put it in C tier because it's not a bad movie that this is to go into D tier because it is that funny and hilarious and so enjoyable. Unlike Hulk and Howard, which is just completely boring, this one is actually very enjoyable. Next up, the first ever Spider-Man, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. Yeah, it's going straight into the A tier. You know, it's, it's a classic, you know. Everyone loves Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy. Uh, but <sighs> you just can't not love this film. The first two films you just can't not love. There is so much to love about this film. The only problems I have, the effects are really bad nowadays. Um, well, just some of the acting's a bit corny, but it adds to the charm of this film, and I just love this film. But one film that's better, Spider-Man 2. In my opinion, the best live-action Spider-Man movie. This film is nearly flawless. I love this film. I could watch it every day. I could quote it so much. It's going to be in that coveted S tier. But onto not a so good film. Spider-Man 3. I don't like Spider-Man 3. It's very mediocre. It does have some good moments. But there's just way too much going on. There's characters that are just not. Just don't need to be there. And it's just laughable. There was nothing. It just didn't wasn't compelling enough. And I blame Sony for it. Not Sam Raimi. But I do somehow get some enjoyment. It's not a film that I would not watch ever again. I'll still watch it. I put it in the B tier. Mostly because it does have some good things in it. And some bad things. But I think most of the stuff outweighs the bad things. Next up. A film called Electra. Who remembers this film? Um, Yeah. It's really bad. It's really boring. Like the, I completely forget about this film. I've seen it twice, the second time was just for this, and it's just really bad. There is so little to like about this film. Jennifer Garner tries, but that's it. Um, I would definitely watch this over Howard the Duck, but I wouldn't watch it over Hulk. 
Uh, mostly because Hulk, in some ways, was entertainingly bad, but Electra just was not good at all. It was just plain boredom. Next up, the Fantastic Four. I'd say it's the second best Fantastic Four film, but not like it's got any competition. Uh, it's got to go in the D tier, but I am going to put it over Hulk and all the others. Mostly because there is some good things. I do like the thing. I think he's a great character. I think he's well developed. And you do feel a bit of emotion with him. But apart from that, that's all this film has good merits going for it. It's really, really that bad. Uh, I know some of these are going to be out of order, by the way. Um, but you just got to get used to it. Next up, X-Men The Last Stand or X-Men 3. I like the first two X-Men. We'll get to them soon, but I'm not a fan of 3. I do like some parts of it. I think the final battle is really good, but the problem is there's just two plots that just don't intertwine with each other well. There's just way too many characters, mostly because of merchandising. But there is some good stuff here. I'm going to put it over The Punisher. Oh, not in B tier. Yeah, put it over Punisher, because there is some good movie elements there, mostly the acting was good, as I said, the final battle, but that, that that's it, That that's all this film really has going for it. <sighs> Next up, Ghost Rider. <laughs> Nicolas Cage. Um, yeah, this film is really bad, but it's, again, it's like the Punisher, it's just so funny. Nicolas Cage, I love the guy. He's a brilliant actor, but in this, I just love Mad Nicolas Cage. And it's going straight into the C tier, just below X-Men Last Stand. I, I love this film. It's that bad, that corny, that stupid. But I just don't care. I could watch this film all the time. It is that bad. Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. My opinion, this is the best Fantastic Four film we have. Not like, again, not like it's got competition, but it, it does have some good parts. Um, but it was mostly just the ending. The Silver Surfer was just so stupid. Galactus is a giant anus cloud. Like, what, what the hell is that? Overall, I would not watch it over The Punisher. It's going to be the lowest ranked out of the C tier so far. Yeah, it's better than the first Fantastic Four and all the other Fantastic Four films, but nothing really that much going for it. The Punisher, the 1980s Punisher. This film is so bad. It's worse than this Punisher, but I'll still have a fun time with it because it's even more bad and even more enjoyable. There's so many quotable lines that are just so garbage, but I just don't care. I love it. This film is not as good as this Punisher, but I am going to put it in the D tier, just below Fantastic Four, because Fantastic Four does have some better good movie merits for it. The Amazing Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield. Now, whatever I say, people will be a bit annoyed, because I know there are some people who like these movies, and that's perfectly fine, but I don't really like this film. I wouldn't say it's bad. I wouldn't even say it's good, I'd just say it's mediocre. The main problem was it just did not get Spider-Man for me. And it's going to go below Spider-Man 3 in B tier. I think Andrew Garfield's great. I do see people hate on him a lot, but I don't think it was the problem. I think all the acting's really good, but it's just the villain, the way they portrayed Spider-Man. Plot lines that just disappear, disappear. One example is Uncle Ben's killer. It, it just felt really inconsistent. But an even worse film, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. To date, this is the worst Spider-Man movie made. It's got to go straight to D tier. I don't even... I would watch it over Electra and Howard the Duck, but not as good as Hulk. The, Spider the Amazing Spider-Man 2 is just so much going on. Storylines are underdeveloped. The villains are really bad. There's just not much to like about this film at all. It's just boring. Nothing's that good about it, apart from the relationship between Gwen Stacy and Peter Parker, but that's it for me. Next up, Punisher Warzone. Um, yeah, it's the most recent Punisher film we've got, and it is probably the best one. Uh, again, it's just hilarious. I would put it in the C tier, just below X-Men Last Stand, 
because of how funny it is sometimes. It's just so good, this film. I, lo- I love films that are just really corny and bad because you could just have a great time with them and just forget about everything. But onto a film that is bad and not a good film, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Straight down there, just above How the Duck. I hate this movie. The only positive, Hugh Jackman's great as Wolverine. Everything else, story inconsistencies, timeline inconsistencies, stupid plot lines, stupid characters, garbage special effects, and that Deadpool. Oh my god. Uh, the sequel to Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. It's not good, this film. It's worse than the first Ghost Rider. Nicholas Cage just was really annoying in this film. His madness just really got to me in this film, and I didn't like it. Um, it's going to go in the D tier. I would watch it over Hulk, but not as good as the 80s Punisher film. But on to a good film, X-Men First Class. I like First Class. I think it was a return to form after this piece of poop. Uh, but I really do like X-Men First Class. Uh, not the best X-Men film, but I do like the relationship between uh, Professor Xavier and Magneto. I think the two actors playing them are just brilliant. I love the story. I love ev- knew enough, a lot of things about this film. It's going to go just below Spider-Man in A tier. Finally, a good film. Captain America, the straight-to-DVD version. I haven't seen this film, so we're just going to leave it down here. Any films that I haven't seen, I'm just going to leave at the bottom. Uh, the Wolverine. I like this film. I really do like The Wolverine. It's better than Origins by far. Not as good as Logan, which we'll get to soon. The big problem with this, that just kept it from being a 9 out of 10, is its third act. Everything was just on the ground, very good, until you get to this clusterous CGI battle that just did not need to be that over the top. But I do like this film. I wouldn't say it's bad. I would say it's very good. It's just the third act just really slapped this film in the face. It's better than First Class. It's not as good as Spider-Man. It's going to go in the A tier again. The film which I did not expect to be on this list, Big Hero 6. I wouldn't really class this as canon. I know people say it is because of the post credit scene with Stan Lee, but I still like this film. Despite it not being Marvel canon, I still really like this film. It's funny. Baymax is great. I can't wait for this Baymax TV show. I'm definitely going to watch it. Uh, you could just have a great time with this film. The problem I have is the villain. I think the villain was very stupid. I don't think he made any good decisions, really. But I'm going to put this... T- uh, the lowest ranked in the A tier. I still love Big Hero 6. It's really fun, really funny, and just lovable. And then Blade with Wesley Snipes. Uh, I like the first two Blades. Um, Blade 1 knew what it was. It was corny, it was stupid, and it's just great to see vampires trying to kill each other. I love it. Um, I would put it in B tier. I think it's better than Amazing Spider-Man. It's just fun. It's stupid. It's corny. What more could you want from an early uh, 90s uh, action film? Blade 2 is better than the first Blade in my opinion though. It evolves on a story. I think it's more corny than the last one. Uh, The big problem is the effects. The effects look stupid. People move around like they've got no muscle and bone. They look like they're made out of jelly. But I will say this is better than Blade 1. Not as good as Spider-Man 3. I'm definitely going to put it below that. Oh, not in A tier. You're not that good, mate. But I I still do really enjoy uh, this film. A film which I do not enjoy and I despise forever. Fant 4 Stick, the latest Fantastic Four film we have. It's going to go just above Howard the Duck, if it'll let me. There we go. This film is so bad. It's so boring. Nothing happens. This film was bad but kind of watchable until it said one year later and this film went from just levitating off the ground to plummeting to the core of the earth because it is that bad and boring don't watch this film it's uneventful nothing happens next up Blade Trinity a film which Wesley Snipes just did not care about he did not like the change of director and I, for one, do not like this film. I think uh, Ryan Reynolds was quite good in the movie. I think the action was pretty good. But Wesley Snipes just 
did not care at all. Uh, they even CGI his eyes open because they wouldn't, he wouldn't open his eyes. How embarrassing is that? But I still get a little bit of enjoyment out of this film just because of how so bad it's good it is sometimes. I'm going to put it below Fantastic Four Rise of Silver Surfer because there is a sense of enjoyability to it. Unlike stuff like Fan Stick, which just has no enjoyability at all. But a film which, near enough, everyone loves. Deadpool. Uh, straight into West here, just below Spider-Man 2. Deadpool 1. Fantastic movie. It's funny. It's everything you really want in a, in a film. An R-rated uh, superhero film. Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool. You can't recast him. I really hope this guy joins the MCU sometime. Because it just brings some freshness to this uh, universe. Deadpool 2 on the other hand, I still like this movie. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not as good as Deadpool 1. I think the big problems I have, it weren't as funny. I think the action scenes just lingered on too much uh, and I kind of got bored of them sometimes. I will say it's the worst out of the A tier. I don't think it's as good as Big Hero 6 but I still like Deadpool 2. I don't think it's bad but it just wasn't what I wanted after the first Deadpool. Deadpool really had a high bar to, to climb. So I do give it that. I still like this film though. I would really do highly suggest watching it. A film which is bad and I hate though. X-Men Apocalypse. I know there's some people who really defend this film. But I really do not like this film. I hate this film. This is god awful. This film looks like a TV movie. The villain is designed garbage. His motivation isn't clear. The only good things are the acting, the action's kind of enjoyable, but that's it with this film. I will say it's better than Origins and Electra, but that's it for me. Logan. Hot take. <laughs> I think this is Marvel's best ever film. And I mean that. I really, really do mean that because this movie is just that good so emotionally impactful this is near enough a perfect movie for me only flaws i have are just minor nitpicks and i just i can't not put this film one second i just cannot put this film anything lower than higher in s tier this is my all-time favorite marvel movie there, there's so little not to like about this film so next up the first x-men movie a film which I pretty enjoy, actually. I do like the first X-Men film. I don't think it's perfect to anything. There is still some corniness there. There is some very bad moments, underused characters. But for what it was at the time, I thought it was very good. And I will put this in the B tier. I will definitely watch this over Amazing Spider-Man. But it's nothing special. It just did what it had to do. X-Men 2, on the other hand, better than X-Men 1. I'm going to put this in the A tier. Uh, they do have some problems. Again, it's underused characters like Cyclops. Why didn't he get used? And the ending, I thought, was just a bit stupid and a bit over the top. But I do still like X-Men 2. I think it's better than X-Men 1. I don't think it's as good as Deadpool 2, though. So we're going to put it just below that in the A tier. But Days of Future Past, X-Men Days of Future Past. I'm going to... I just love this film. I just... <sighs> I, c I can't hate this film. This film did what it had to do in resetting the timeline. And it did it in such a good way. And I actually got a sense that there was going to be some big heroes that might die in this film. But I just love this film. I can't put this any lower than the S tier. I wouldn't say it's as good as uh, Spider-Man 2. I think it's better than Deadpool. But I, I just love this film. I can't not put this any lower than an S tier. For Venom, though, this is definitely going in the D tier. I do like this film because of how serious it's taking itself and how bad it is. Uh, Tom Hardy's great, and I think the relationship between him and Venom was a good part of the film. But the villain, the plot, it was just so hilarious. Things just didn't make sense, and it was just laughable. And Venom is going to go in the D tier. I really enjoyed this film. It's going to be the highest ranked in the D tier. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I know people say this. And I'm still going to say it. I think Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is the best Spider-Man movie. Um, better than Spider-Man 2. 
I never really heard of Miles Morales before this film, and I just loved it. There was just nothing to hate about this film, apart from a few jokes that didn't land. But they're only like small things, and this film is going to go in the S tier. It's just going to go behind Logan. I, I I just love this film. The the way it was told, brilliant. Uh, Dark Phoenix. I don't like this movie at all. I hate this movie. This film is boring. The villain is one of the worst villains we've had in a Marvel film. Her motivation doesn't make sense. This film was not earned. They needed a couple more films to set this up. It just felt like an horrible uh, cash grab. Uh, we're going to put this in the D tier. Uh, I would watch it over Spirit of Vengeance, but it's, it's not as good as the 80s Punisher. Next up, Ben Affleck's Daredevil. Uh, this film is really bad, but I love it. For the most part, I think Ben Affleck's pretty good in the film. I think he's, I think he embodies the role of uh, Daredevil. Um, but this film was just really ridiculous. Colin Farrell as Bullseye was just hilarious. He didn't take the character seriously and just did what he wanted. And I really appreciate those times, but this film was really bad, but still very enjoyable. I'm going to put it in the C tier. I'm going to put it above X-Men Last Stand because of how enjoyable it was. Uh, these two films, Man-Thing and New Mutants, I haven't watched yet, so we're just going to leave them. But a film I have seen, Venom Let There Be Carnage, better than the first Venom by a long shot. One thing you might not know, Carnage is one of my all-time favourite Marvel villains. So this film had a, a little bit to ride on. And I think they got Carnage really good. Uh, I think Woody, Woody Harrelson, one of my favourite actors, has always did a great job. He really fit this role. I'm going to put this in C tier. I'm going to put it above Daredevil. Uh, you know, the relationship between uh, Eddie Brock and Venom was just brilliant. And I just love this film so much. Just, just so much to like about it. Even with its even with its bad parts, but you can really enjoy those bad parts because of how bad sometimes this film is. Finally, a film that I actually just reviewed, Morbius, straight in the D tier. Uh, I would definitely watch it over Fan Four Stick. I would watch X Men Origins over it. I hate this film. No one cared about this film. Just overall lazy, stupid, boring uneventful just plain garbage there's just nothing to watch this film don't watch this film i beg you well that's it for the first part uh here's the tier list in full here we are that's the best you're going at the moment uh i will try and find a way to shorten this screen so we can get the whole uh, page in but i do think this is an honest uh, ranking of what i of these marvel films make sure to catch parts two in a few days though uh We'll be doing all the MCU films in this tier list. But if you have any of your own opinions, make sure to post them in the comments. I'll take acknowledgement. And if you have any criticisms, try and be nice with them. But make sure to like the video and if you want, subscribe. Look out for part two in a few days and have a good day. See you later.